honey, go go sit down. Sit down. Sit down. What are you going to get? Go. <laughs> sit down. That man do not have no money. Leave that man alone. guys welcome back to the channel as you can see from the thumbnail i'm gonna do a video reviewing random posts that the shade room posted on instagram um these are just my thoughts my opinions my commentary you do not have to agree you can agree that's great but everybody has their own opinions and thoughts about these people i know some of these people are highly praised or whatever but i don't care about any of that my opinion is my opinion and i said what i said so yeah i'm not a mean person so i'm not gonna just gonna sit here and dog somebody and i'm pretty sure they don't give a fuck about me they don't even know me and i don't know them they can give two shits but it's a video i want to do because i always go through the shade room and i'm just like always got a lot of shit to talk about the people in the shade room so why not share it with y'all so if you like this video give it a thumbs up comment like subscribe and yeah, we're going to get right into the video. Speaking of Instagram, mine got deleted. So, um, I'll post all my social media handles in this video, maybe at the end. Or somewhere in the video, it'll be there. So, please feel free to follow. I do follow back. Excuse my phone, because y'all know it's dirty and ratchet. But this is just a phone I had. My old phone. I had it in the drawer somewhere. So... Don't try to come for my phone because I very much have a 12. Okay? I'm just recording on it. So, yeah, let's jump right in. Okay, so the first situation I'm going to be talking about is the one with Bobby Smurda. Smurda! So, it says that he will be on parole until 2026. And he cannot drink booze or go to bars. I just feel like with the um the system i understand parole is made to keep you on the right track and keep you out of trouble i get that i totally agree with that but i feel like once somebody's out of jail and they did their time they should be free like period like i'm not about to go to jail to be free to be back in jail on the outside like i just don't understand how that work I feel like they should leave that man alone. If he want to get lit, let him get lit. He out. He did the time. He did the crime. He did the time. But that's just how the system goes. I just feel like it's it's not right. And he a grown ass man. These are grown ass people. If they want to fuck up and go back to jail, let them do it. They just just put them back in jail. Like they could just go through that back and forth if they want to. But I just feel like once you free. You free. I spent all that time in jail and now I can't do nothing when I get out. No. You should at least let me have a drink. Like, damn. Let me get lit. Like, I just feel like that's petty. When the parole, I understand parole, but that part of parole, I don't agree with at all. But shout out to Bobby Smurda. He a real nigga, whatever. But that's just fucked up. And it, Maybe he could drink at home or something. I don't know. If I was him, I'd be getting fucked up at home. I ain't, I ain't gonna lie. But you know what I'm saying? I hope he stay out of trouble. But I just feel like that's stupid. But whatever. The next person I'm going to be talking about is Sweetie. So she did like a cypher, I want to say. Or like an interview with Hollywood Unlocked. Like I think it was like a couple years ago. And they basically said she was fucking trash. And I agree. To this day, I still do agree. Like, don't get me wrong, Sweetie is a very beautiful girl. Like, she's very pretty. I feel like she should stick to that. Like, maybe she should model or something. I think that'll take her maybe further. Because that music shit is not for her. And her shit is fucking ass. I'm sorry. Sweetie fans, don't come for me. That's my opinion. That rapper shit, cut it. That shit, it's not for her. And it's okay. It's not for everybody. That shit, she should have gave up on that shit a long time ago. It's not, it's not for her. It's not. Just stick to being cute. You get you got it right there. You you got it. Just stick to doing that. You know, book some like model and stuff. You know, do that. Like do that. But baby, we gotta let that rapper shit. Just just let it go. 
Let it go. Next person I want to talk about is Lil Herb, G Herbo, whatever you call him. So basically, he was um on Instagram on live saying how um he feel like he's elevating his life. He feel like he bossing up, whatever. And the people that's always talking shit is not even in the same space to be talking shit, which is a hundred percent true. And I'm happy for him. I'm proud of him. We from the same place. We both from Chicago, so I know how that is. And he been through a lot, I'm pretty sure. And I feel like this is his moment. He deserved a moment. So let him have his fucking moment. Like, he, him and his baby mom is building, like, a house on the ground up. And he's happy. Like, let him have his moment. Like, people be so quick to say some shit that, that, that they can't even do. They can't even dream about doing. Like, I'm happy for him. I'm proud of him. He need to keep going. Stay out of trouble. And that's just that on that. Somebody gonna always have some shit to say about what you're doing. Like, you just gotta keep doing what you're doing. And then the next person is Cardi B. So apparently her single Up is number one on the Billboard Hot 100. That song is ass too. Bitch, that should have been number fucking 61. Bitch, mm-mm. I feel like people be paying for those slots. And I think Nikki or Takashi said that before. She got to be paying somebody. Because that shit is... Girl, that song is ass. She got to be paying somebody. That's just my opinion. Once again, Cardi says, do not come for me. That's my opinion. I feel like the song is ass. I feel like the song is ass. Like, no. No. The song is ass. Okay, the next person I want to talk about. So, Steve Harvey basically said that he hopes Lori and Michael B. Jordan stay together because he likes him. Shit, he knew the right words to say. Like, because he know that girl be fucking dropping their ass like flies. Bitch, you go, you go, you go, you go, you come, you come, you go, you go. Like, I feel like he said this before about another nigga. Maybe I'm wrong, but I just feel like he said it. It's nothing. I'm all in agreement with if somebody ain't acting right, they get left. That's cool. I agree. I definitely 100% agree with that. But, like, all your relationships shouldn't be public. Like, that's not a good look. Like, if you got a sneaky link or some a situation ship or whatever that is, keep that private. Like, you don't got to post every nigga you with. Like, that's just not cute to me. And she's a pretty girl. We get it. She's gorgeous. We get it. She can have access to any man she wants, obviously. And that can be like, well, I'm not going to say it's tough, but it can be like, not exciting either, but it can be like, if you know what I mean, like, it can be like a good thing to like have any man you want or like man like spin over you and stuff like that. Like, we get it. But like, girl, don't be a hoe. Don't be a hoe. Don't be a hoe. Like, if it's for publicity, which it probably is, well, I know it is nine times out of ten, but like, your publicists need to sit down and be like, y'all gotta reach, like, come up with a different strategy, cause this not making you look good, baby. It's not making you look good. But we gonna see how long this lasts, though. But like I said, I feel like Steve Harvey said that about a couple niggas before, but I could be wrong. I could be wrong. The next situation is with Asian Doll. Um, she basically said that Kylie Jenner does not have to donate because she's a billionaire. Which I absolutely agree. Like, I'm pretty sure Kylie donated and she shared the link. Um, If you didn't know, um, her old makeup artist or a makeup artist she knows was in a tragic accident. And they did like a GoFundMe for his hospital bills, I'm guessing. And she shared the link. And they was like, oh, bitch, you a billionaire. Why you just can't fucking pay for it? But like, bitch, why does she have to pay for it? She's not obligated to pay for anything. That's her money. She, I'm pretty sure she donated a generous amount. And she fucking... She, um... What is that? She shared the link. And I'm pretty sure once she shared it... He passed his goal. He passed his um GoFundMe goal. I, I know he did, but like, y'all be too entitled with these celebrities. Like, bitch, that's her money. She can spend her money how she want to spend her money. And they wasn't like clothes. Like, she knew him with circles within circles. Like, they wasn't besties. Like, bitch, 
No. Mm, y'all be expecting too much from these celebrities. They are selfish. They are very much selfish. If you didn't know. Like, y'all can tell you how to fucking spend her money. Y'all, mm. y'all be expecting too much from them. I'm just going to say that. I mean, it would be nice if I was a billionaire. I would have did it. But, you know, every, you don't have to do shit. Like, y'all can't tell her how to spend her money. And by her sharing it, I know that man passed his goal. I know he, he's straight. So, yeah, y'all just, bitch, you don't tell me how to spend my money. We make our money. This, I ain't going to say we make our money the same way because that bitch will be on you now. But we make our money how we make our money. And it's hard making money sometimes. It's not easy. Well, for her it is, but for us it's not. It would be nice if she did it, but she doesn't have to do it. That's my whole point. She's not obligated to do anything. But, yeah, I I I agree with that. I do. I would have I would have donated. I would have just paid it, but that's me. Everybody not like that. And that's cool, too. Like, you work hard for your money. You do what you want to do with your money. That's your money. You earned it. So nobody can tell you how to spend your shit. Period. Okay, the next thing I want to talk about is Miami. And y'all just make that shit look so ghetto and ratchet and hood and like... Then y'all down there drugging people and shit. Like, what the fuck? Like, mm-mm. I'm good on Miami. Bitch, you won't catch me down there with all the motherfuckers. I do want to go to shit. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. But I can't be down there with all y'all. Mm-mm-mm. I don't even want to go, matter of fact. I'll take that back. But if you see me there, mind your fucking business. I said what I said. But, yeah. Miami, it's a no for me. And then, it's like we still in the pandemic. Like, I know I get it, y'all. Y'all don't care about Corona. I don't give a fuck about Corona. Either. I'm tired of this shit. But, you know, people got to go home to their loved ones and stuff. We might have, like, elder loved ones and stuff like that. You know. Just protect the people around you, at least. But, you know, niggas gonna be niggas. Bitches gonna be bitches. So, who gives a fuck? Period. And the next person I want to talk about is Yaya. Well, no, NBA young boy. So he got arrested in LA. Okay, we know what's new. Like I'm not even gonna talk about him. We used to that with him. Like that's what he do. Like whatever. I'm gonna talk about his baby mama, Yaya. <sighs> that girl irks me. Like she really, she really irks me. Like so bad. Like to my core. And I know she ain't thinking about my broke ass. Like, she a millionaire. She don't give a fuck what I'm saying. Cool. Like, I get it, bitch. I ain't no millionaire none of that. That's cool. But, like, I just... Uh, uh, honest, a sincere question is, like, where's your mother? Like, no, in all honesty, like, I'm not trying to be funny or nothing. But, like, your mom and dad, they should have taught you better. Like, that's why they say your, your parents should not try to be your friend. That's a prime example. Because I, I just feel like they failed her. I'm I, I'm going to be honest. Like, money is not... Money can't buy you everything. Period. Money cannot raise no child or none of that. I just feel like they failed her. Like, this little girl had got the whole world handed to her, literally. Like, her dad's a fucking billionaire. And then she go do dumb shit. Like, having a baby with this motherfucker, for one. Like, just dumb shit. Then you almost lost your freedom for him. Y'all laid, in a, laid up in the bed. You look like Winnie Houston and shit. Then he called me your daddy a bitch. You just sitting there like, who does that? Like, girl, what type of, he got, girl, I, I need to know. Well, I don't need to know, but, girl, your mama, your mama should have taught you. It did. You just irritates me. Like, you very much give me, like, slow. <laughs> I'm not trying to be mean. This a little girl to me, but, like. Somebody need to teach you, like, you very much give me what you was doing in that video. That's the vibes, like, that's you, like, that's you, like, my two last brain cells. That video you was doing, that's you. I don't care nobody say, that's how you act all the time. I don't care. You can't convince me different. And then you have a baby. You just popped the baby out your <laughs> You on the boat with this baby. Yo, like, yo, where the fuck your mama at? You don't take no back, girl. I know her daddy kind of slow, but goddamn, the mama can't be slow too. (laughs) 
But it's not even her fault. It's not that baby fault. It's not her fault at all. So we can't. We cannot do that, y'all. We cannot do that. We just gonna. We gonna leave that where it's at. Like God, only God could intervene with that. So yeah, we just gonna leave that with that. And then the next thing I want to talk about, Jesus. I know she don't give a fuck about my broke ass. But money ain't everything. Money. Somebody need to teach this girl. Hopefully she get it sooner than later. It might be later, but hopefully she gets it. Whoo, I'm getting hot. Okay, the next thing is Nicki Minaj's mother. Her mom is suing the guy that killed her dad, I guess, and hit him run for $150 million. Girl, that man ain't got no money. Go, go sit down. Sit down. Sit down. What are you going to get? Go. <laughs> sit down. That man do not have no money. Leave that man alone. He in jail, whatever he about to do. Okay, just let him go to jail. Like, don't try to sue this man. You not going to get anything. Like, y'all rich. Like, what are you going to gain from suing? Like, go, go, go sit your ass down. That's all. Just, just sit down. You better. Go sit down. That's all I'm saying. Just sit down. I don't know what you think you're going to get. I'm pretty sure he ran because he ain't had no money. Well, no. Nah. He probably ran because he knew he killed them, but. Bitch, I, I know this man. I know this man don't got no money. Not no 150 million. I, I just know for a fact he don't. So you wasting your time on that one, mama. I'm going to tell you that right now. I'm going to tell you that right now. Okay, y'all, this is all I see that's interesting for right now. I'll probably come back when it's some more hot topics. But, yeah, I'm going to wrap this one up. I'm getting hot, and I'm getting a little tipsy, so we're going to wrap this one up. But if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on your post notification bell so you can know when I post next. Period! <laughs> And before y'all try to cover me, I know what we all thinking, like, how'd you talk shit about these people and her eyelashes falling off? Yeah, we see that. Um, I didn't have time to glue it back on when I was about to stop the video to glue it back on, so, yeah, don't try to cover me, period.